not what the kid is done. Some of the kid is originally from Han Yuan. This is how was kid is done in very good. Talk into the microphone. Yeah, can you speak into the microphone? Oh, sorry. Thanks. This is how was the kid is done a um, uh, hundred years ago, just beginning of 20th century. Um, and within the clash of uh, Ottoman Empire, British and French controlled uh, most of the Middle East and Northern Africa. Iraq was uh, controlled by uh, Great Britain. And uh, Kurdish, same than other nations in the area, promised to have their own uh, independent states. Um, in 1923, we promised uh, to have the state, but in 1926, in the city of Lausanne, within the decision, they draw the line to divide the country for far, four to five parts, which as you see in the map, part of Iran, part of Iraq, part of Syria, part of Turkey, and a small part of Armenia, which is a kind of population between 30 to 40 million people, uh, largest nation in the world, uh, one of the largest nations in the world, we don't have our own independent states. So, um, many um, political um, events happened um, just briefly in the middle of the third century uh, in part of Iran, Republic of Mahabad is one of the city, well-known city in the, in the area, again, got independent for nine uh, months, uh, supported by the Soviet, and after that with an agreement between the Iran government and the uh, Soviet, they, you know, they give up and, um, on the Kurds and the uh, uh, president of, of the Republic of Mahabad uh, executed by the Iranian government. And then um, after that, in the, uh, after 50s uh, until 75, was a revolution in northern uh, Iraq, which is the Kurdistan Iraq. Uh, and this is also <laughs> being destroyed within the uh, uh, agreement between uh, America, led by Kissinger. Uh, and Saddam Hussein and Shah of Iran. So we have a popular saying among the Kurds, we, we say we don't, our only friend is the mountains. So um, as far as I'm concerned with our um, history, but um, in recent years, uh, after 1991, uh, with the first Gulf War and the second Gulf War, Iraqi Kurdistan developed so fast. Now in, we have our own uh, parliament, our own army and uh, president, prime ministers, um, and, well, fortunately, very high economy, which is the most of the uh, part of the world suffering from, uh, from the economy. So, um, it's a promising and it's growing so uh, fast. Um, and I'm personally from Kirkuk, one of the cities, um, is out of uh, um, Kurdish regional government control, is still part of Iraq officially, but is um, you know, recognized as a Kurdistan regional government of the Kurdistan region. So I, I live in Kirkuk city, um, which is the 7% 7, 7 of the world oil has come out from that city. Um, well, I haven't seen it for 20 years. Um, and this is a, just a, a brief um, sort of kind of historical information for where I come from. And just briefly to say that Personally, I'm, I'm an artist. I do performance and installation experimental music, just to choose my solid. And then I'm a curator. So, um, I lived in Kirkuk um, in 1991 until 1999. Um, uh, personally, as, a, as my personal uh, uh, background point of view, 90% uh, of my family has executed by uh, uh, Saddam Hussein regime in operation was called Anfal in 1988 which is 182,000 Kurdish people uh, killed, um, and so most of them buried alive. And so the same things happened in the city of Halabja, you might have heard of it, uh, was um, attacked by the chemical weapon uh, in 1988, which is within a few minutes, 5,000 innocent people lost their life. So, uh, coming back to what I have done in terms of culture, uh, first of all, I would love to and uh, introduce you to some of the work I have curated uh, as, a, as my organization. Uh, basically, um, um, as I said, I, I studied in art five years in Kyrgyzstan and uh, developed my own exhibition. I worked with the NGOs, UN, UN uh, international organization. And in the U and, and 1999, um, I flew 
I escaped from Iraq for to risk my life. I um, um, traveled uh, to unknown destination, so I found myself in its kingdom as a refugee. Um, and uh, immediately I granted uh, life to remain. And I studied in the fine arts for four years in New York University in Northern England. Um, and then I did a diploma in um, uh, uh, media and then developed dance group, music group, and finally I established Art World and I practiced as an artist for interview. And in 2005, I became a British citizen. So I have a GU citizen, Iraqi and British. That's why I can, if I want to go to Iran, I use my Iraqi passport. If I want to come to Europe, I can use my British passport. So, privilege in that point. Right. Um, Artwell is the organization who is a contemporary art organization uh, developed international culture with Middle East. Since 2005 six we um, organized a number of projects specifically between United Kingdom, United States, and Iraq and Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, and then, of course, we engaged many other countries in the neighborhoods surrounding Iraq and internationally. And this is the uh, organization. It's the first uh, um, for artists we invited from, from Iraq to the United Kingdom. Uh, they visit uh, uh, museums, galleries, schools. Um, they give a talk, presentation, um, and for them to learn about how the culture and the, society, uh, the, the developments happen in British society and what they can learn and what the, the British audience also listen to the artist's story about Iraq rather than just hearing from the media what, what, you know, what they can tell you. And this is a, a slate school of fine art of just visiting and, and see how the education system looks like and how we can benefit for the own, based on exchange and program. And this is the Life Art Development Agency and you can see this number of the places. And then we uh, went to Yorkshire Sculpture Park in Northern England, one of the most wonderful open uh, space um, um, and we give a talks in different, uh, you know, the artists and the academies, they talk about the backgrounds and the history of the area, the political situation in Iraq. And we did this, some experimental uh, Kurdish-English music. Um, and then, so, you can see, uh, just a brief introduction. And then, uh, end of 2009, we took a number of American and British artists and academic to Iraqi Kurdistan. Um, this is a British embassy, uh, sorry, British consulate, and some of the officials in the region and the parliament will visit. And this is a, uh, an Institute of Fine Art. Uh, two of our guests uh, give the talks about how the education, art education system works in the UK. Um, and then we took a donation of books and DVDs and all sorts of different things to, to, to the students. And this is Claire Charlie, she's a performance artist. We did a, a collaborative performance in, in the city of Erbil together. And this is the city of Soleimania. It's a small gallery. So one of the uh, artists um, made his um, best name to become a, a, a small gallery because uh, we have a lack of gallery and museum in the region. And this is Sadadil of Erbil, the capital city where I'm based at the moment. Um, this is a tour of the uh, artist, just to see this uh, the Arbel College of Fine Art. Um, this is, was the um, uh, International Trade Fair, so it was an opportunity for artists and the visitors to see what's happening in the region, just to see the, how it developed in this, the region. And this is the uh, Kurdish parliament. Um, and this is uh, to the historical side. Of course, you know, Kurdistan, Iraq is the, or Kurdistan is the um, area which is the used to be a Mesopotamian civilization space there and it's a lot of historical sites. Uh, so this is a couple of caves and, um, and also visit through the nature. And this is an institute to find out the city of Soleimania, artists working with different things. And this is a presentation by a British and American artist. Uh, exhibition and residency, so basically this is the artists who went to the region and came back to the United Kingdom to, to tell the British public about their visit and their experience in the region. So we did this sort of kind of experimental uh, music performance with Anne Bean, Richard Walson, uh, Chris Gladwin and myself. And also in the bottom this is a Susan Maisles from um, uh, New York. Um, we did the la uh, launch for her book, it's called Kudus and the Shadow of History. 
And after that, we took the um, same artists back to, to, to the region. Uh, among them, um, uh, Nancy Buchanan, and that's how I, I met uh, Eric. Uh, she's, uh, she's based in um, Los Angeles. And um, so the, we collaborate with the Minister of Environment. So we, 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 the artist, it's a, a sort of kind of presentation about the role of art and artists within the global warming issue of environment, which is very new in, in, in the region and in the, basically in, in the Middle East generally, because people have more other problems to see it as a priority to think about it. Um, and then uh, Anne Bean created a performance with a 20 housewife um, with a balloon and the balloons took their dress and floated around the city. And this is a red gel, which I'm going to talk about a little on. And uh, this is a donation of books we took to the museum and see the fine art of different places. And my journey to the uh, United States, that's how I met uh, Eric. Uh, the Eleventh Day Cultural Center, Colorado uh, University, and our course for contemporary art. Um, and the residency program for two artists we invited from, um, from the region. Uh, one of them explored the city of London, the other one explored the, York, uh, the uh, English uh, landscape. Um, you can see the, um, for one month, as you can see, and they went back, so they did a presentation about their journey uh, to, to their friends and students and others. So the city of Manchester, and we went to Liverpool Binale. Um, and this is a, a post uh, one art and, um, art and culture festival, which is I organized at uh, uh, one of the uh, major first festivals uh, for 20 years. And I'm going to talk about this later one because it's related to my, one of my work. Um, and then uh, last year uh, in April, we um, uh, organized the exhibition with Connor House in Manchester. We brought uh, 19 Iraqi artists' artwork shipped from, from the region all the way to Manchester. So for the first time having a real Iraqi artist artwork shown to the public um, in the UK. Um, so just to give you a glimpse of uh, idea about the type of the show. And then of course included some uh, presentation and talks by, the, by some of the artists and writers who are uh, involved with Middle East and Iraq. And also, it was, uh, um, it was we collaborated with FACT, uh, was a uh, My War project happening there. So myself and uh, Samir al Yusuf, you with Oret uh, Ashari, uh, Israel, Palestinian, and myself, we did a uh, symposium. We talked about uh, our experience with war and our view of war. Um, and this is the Chicago conference I went last year. Uh, TCG conference was amazing, amazing experience for me to be part of this uh, wonderful um, uh, conference. And this is some of this, just give it an idea. And then uh, this is how I met uh, Ellen and Pauline. This is in New York last uh, September. Um, and then beside this, I was part of, uh, as an advisor for uh, theater. Uh, for play, which is, was about uh, Iraqi refugee fought from the war, uh, based in uh, the you know mainly based in the refugee camp in uh, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. So those artists from America they went to meet, they meet up with the with refugee with Iraqi refugee and they create this wonderful play. And uh, I was um, uh, you know collaborate and then I uh, I was advisor in terms of language and some dancing and. and and general, uh, is, and then also with a, um, a musician, uh, Amakela, we did a combination of um, black African music uh, and nat American native music and traditional Kurdish music, Iraqi. So it was a sort of kind of mix of half an hour. Uh, experimental music was was a extraordinary um, uh, experience. And this is uh, without the image. One of the things we did the last end of last year in London was about uh, uh, discussing the, uh, the relationship between the UK and the Middle East. Right. Gosh, I hope I'm not going to... So, um, one of the things I'm going to talk about uh, now is um, I'm going to talk about my, one of my performance ideas. Part of the festival, I was an organizer and one of the artists as well. So um, I would like to you can read a bit of information about the venue. Um, 
this venue is, is used to be ex Saddam Hussein's um, security and prison. So many, many of the Kurds has executed and persecuted in that building, and now it's become a museum and art space. So this is to give you just a bit of idea about the venue, um, and uh, we did our um, festival in purpose in that building, uh, just to connect with our objectives. We believe that how we can, you know, about the healing and bringing people together, and, you know, broke the barrels and the, you know borders. So this is the building, and one of the things is in 1992 when I when I escaped from 1991 when I escaped from a regime. Um, we had the millions of the Kurds in the mountains. I stayed there for two years. So I lived there for two years. Um, because you don't have a choice. You have to find a shelter and to survive. Um, and this is just to give you the of idea about how the buildings looks like. It's a massive building. It's like an old Russian security building. And it's an impressive and amazing space for, for art. And you can see in here all these bullets and um, rockets that attack the wall. <coughs> and all these weapons used against the civilians, but now it's brought into, uh, it's a part of the building, it's like an exhibition, so where the guest is going, you can see it. And this is the basement, which is you have a few floor, there were people tortured and executed. So this is the exhibition for Halecho, I just say that uh, 5,000 innocent people um, killed by the chemical weapon. And this is some of the uh, work done by some artists, just remembering those who tortured uh, in those uh, states. Right. My last, I don't know how I'm going to do with the time. Fantastic. It was perfect. I have a 10 minutes. I'm going to finish my presentation with 10 minutes um, uh, documentary about my performance, which is involved um, a great British and American artist, ex-prisoner. My mom, she came to took part of it, which is she was looking after me uh, in, in these two years I lived there. Um, and over 50 people took part of this, exhibit, this performance, and it's one of the first uh, big uh, piece of performance I ever done. So I hope you can like it. Um,
Um. So, the festival, which this performance was part of it, uh, was in the evening, just the day of the opening. Um, is it was a three days, um, involved symposium, workshops, included British and American, um, and uh, uh, Iranian curators, uh, Egyptian, uh, Turkish, so it was international returns for the first time. And as you all know, in Iraq, uh, what we get from the media is just that this image of uh, horror and killing and explosion, but no one knows what's happening on the ground inside Iraq. So it's a, it was a great experience to see, uh, uh, to establish a dialogue inside the country, which is people even not thinking to go close to it. So um, I'm just showing some, some images of the, of the uh, opening. This is the um, first one, this is a lady hero, which is the um, uh, first lady of Iraq, uh, wife of President uh, Talabani. And next to it is the Prime Minister of Kurdish, uh, Kurdish regional government. Um, we have a, a professor, uh, Cynthia Schneider from the United States. Um, um, she's a um, um, professor at um, Georgetown for cultural diplomacy and she worked a lot between uh, US and Muslim world and Middle East. Um, and so many other guests, international guests. And this is the Richard Wilson's 2050 Sachi collection artwork we did for the first time in the Middle East. So we did an initiative Soleimani inside the building you saw just earlier. Uh, it was a massive uh, work. It's about oil, so quite related to the region, the area, the country. And this is uh, Susan Maisley, the magnet photographer based in New York. She's been working since 1991 with, 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 with Kurdistan and with the Kurdish people. So she did a sort of kind of um, a workshop for, for photo. And this is a side of uh, Iraq exhibition. And we create a lunch inside the uh, venue itself. So we invite uh, Kurdish women from different areas of Kurdistan to come to cook. Each area has a different food and different style of food. So, if you can see, so it, you know, we decided rather take taken to the uh, fancy restaurant or hotel, so it might be a good idea just to have a lunch within the whole uh, event itself. Um, so some side of the venue, so, and this is the, just the performance you saw earlier. And uh, this is the um, uh, Lady Hero's house, um, uh, um, to invite for the dinner with all the guests. And this is the Dr. Maki Omran, on top of the, uh, on your left. Uh, he's a professor at Babylon University. And he did a presentation about the art, art situation in southern of Iraq and middle of Iraq as well. Um, and it's a tour for all artists to, and the guests. Um, through the city, they visit the galleries, museum. And this work is, the, the, the top of it is a, a, the real, a part of the real rocket who attacked the city with, the, with a chemical weapon. And the smell was, a sm uh, with the, the smell was the uh, apple smell. So that's why, that's kind of symbolic for that. Um, and this is a symposium. You can see we have um, Dr. Maki Omran from Babylon University. We have um, um, Didem Özbek from Istanbul. Uh, we have um, uh, Lami Al Ghailani from United Kingdom, uh, Dr. Cynthia uh, uh, Schneider from the United States, Amir Yali from Tehran. Uh, it was a symposium and discussed how we can rebuild the country, how we can help each other, not just across the Iraq, within the neighborhood country as well. So it was a sort of a, a three hours of a really, really uh, a powerful discussion and with a wonderful audience as well. And we ended up with a, with a bit of uh, traditional Kurdish music, uh, just uh, and, and also the tour across the landscape. Um, our work uh, as an organization point of view is for whole Iraq. Uh, at the moment, we focus on Iraq. We saw Iraq need a lot of support. But we work with the neighborhood country, with the whole uh, uh, Middle East as well. Um, and the last things I'm going to say that um, um, I feel privileged that all these things personally I have been through. Um, and never um, teach me to know what the hate and revenge are. What I learned from it is how can to be a human and respect others as a human. So I don't care who is little, little not belongs. So whatever you are from, don't, it's not my problem. We are all human and we can work together. This is the main thing I learned from all these uh, things I have been through personally. And I find uh, what I'm doing and I said, uh, Eric Leon, I can be everywhere and I love what I'm doing and I think it's important what we do.
And again, thank you ever so much for your time and for having me.